Okay, I think I'm looking at a snook right now. Yep, yep. Oh my god, it's giant. There he did. He took it. He took it. Got him. Got him. There we go. What's going on guys? We just picked up some shrimp. We're going fishing today uh, in the canals of Cape Coral, but really this big open area where the canals open up and it tends to be deeper and hold some fish. All the sailboats like to post up here because it's deeper. It's a big black drum caught here, snook, reds, uh, jack creval, who knows what else. All right, let's get to it. 4,000 size pen battle three or pen battle two, I believe. Um, medium heavy seven foot TFO, grab a shrimp. And just rocking with a free line circle hook, about two or three feet of leader line. I'll hook that guy right to the tail. Like that. I might switch this setup up a little bit after I see what's going on around here. I've seen snook cruising along this beach before. Needlefish. There's some bait popping out there, we'll see. I think I'm looking at a snook or something. It's not, oh, yep, there it goes. That was definitely a snook. It's spooked though. Okay, I think I'm looking at a snook right now. Yep. Yep, oh my god, it's giant. Oh, I wish I had better baits. That was a giant fish. I mean, snook is right on top of my shrimp. Little one, but still. There he did, he took it, he took it. Got him, got him. There we go. Get out of there, get out of there. Don't hit yourself on those rocks, bud. There we go. There we go. Nice one. All right. All right, all right, relax. Relax. Check that guy out. I don't know, 17 inches maybe, 18. Let's get a hold of him. Check that guy out. Look at that. All right, 16, 17 inches caught right by this sailboat. We're gonna give him a release. All right, let this guy go. There he goes. He's good. What's crazy, guys, is this sailboat is from Michigan. All right. All right, let's not freight us up. So we're gonna retie real quick. Just a simple uni knot. There's some big, that's a red. It's definitely a red fish. That was a big snapper, but that was a red. Snapper on it, which I don't want. All right guys, it's the next day. Um, we fished here for a couple hours yesterday using shrimp. Saw a bunch of snook, saw a red. Only caught that one snook. Um, so we picked up some pinfish today and some more shrimp and we're gonna see if that makes a difference. It's a little later in the day, the tide should be higher. It's Saturday though, so it might be a little bit busier here. Uh, let's get to it. Guys, day two. I'm gonna start throwing a shrimp. Oh. These are much, much more lively shrimp than yesterday. God, I can't even hook them. Tide is way up today. And the wind's blowing, pushing the water in here. Let's see if that makes a difference. Tide and the wind are pushing bait over here. Should be some predator fish around. Yeah, he's moving around in there. He's a little nervous. Oh, 
Yep. What is that? Snapper. All right, I'll take it. Good start. Nice little guy, probably eight inches. Not bad. Got one finally. That's a chicklid. I mean, this is definitely salt water. That's crazy. Not think I would touch that here. That little guy. Son of a bed. There we go. Another one. I did not think these were chicklets this whole time. All right. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> All right, guys, not the greatest day in the world. Um, got that one little snook right here. Got a snapper, and uh, end of the day with some chicklets. We're definitely gonna come back to the spot. Maybe first thing in the morning with some more pinfish or mullet or white bait or something. Maybe shiners, since there's uh, chicklets in here. Maybe the freshwater shiners will survive. See if we can uh, catch some of these bigger snook that are around in the mornings. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.